this is an odd request. Can you turn it down a notch out here? You want me to turn it down? This is an odd request, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just one, like one notch. Yeah. All right, so they can hear me. All right, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, the jukebox is on freaking loud here tonight, which is unusual. Yeah. Right on. I mean, I don't ever mind it loud. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's it's never cranked because up, when I'm there, we don't hear the music as loud as we'd like right. to. And there's no, no, we don't. And not somebody, and not you, you said that it was Thursday night, so you didn't anticipate. But maybe because post blackout, yeah, yeah, no, that's what Rebecca said. You know, because nobody was out last night when the electricity came back on. She goes, "That's because everybody had to get their TV fix." <laughs> <laughs> right. They had to get their TV fix on, so tonight everybody's out. Yeah, everybody's well, out. Well, plus, most places were closed still last night because people had to recover. They had to clean up messes and shit like that. Yeah. Like, for instance, Chef Warren's, I was just talking to one of the gals who works there, and they might not be open till the weekend just because everything had to be scrubbed down because nothing was running and, you know, that kind of thing. So everything had to be scrubbed down and reordered and. Uh, you know, with ice machines melting, all just that kind of stuff, you know, yeah. which it, it, I mean, it's kind of part Southern Pines is pretty used to uh, like at least three days. Um, I mean, so, but you know, that was, this was like nearly six yeah. days. So, and this is everybody. Yeah. Uh, and, and it was a, it was very, very widespread. Um, you know what drives me fucking batshit crazy is the speculation going on right now. Oh my god! You know who the who done it? Well, uh, coincidentally, on Saturday night when it happened, oh dude, I don't know who is in the pub right now, but they're playing R Rivers of Nil. Have you heard of that band? Yes, I have. Dude, this is hard. <laughs> But see, so, I don't know who was doing it. Okay, so not on your playlist. No, I don't play. I don't play freaking hard crunching metal here because it'll scare all the beta fucks <laughs> out of their gourds. You know, they maybe, won't know what to do. Maybe it's somebody trying to impress you. Well, here's the thing. This was also played last Saturday. Somebody played it. Oh, okay, and I looked around. And I was like, "Who the fuck in here is cool?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. So uh, it's the same song. Rivers of Nil, yeah. and damn yeah, man, it is hard. Anyway, so um, we were in here uh, uh, Saturday night, and across the street, across the tracks, there was a um, a drag show going on right. at the uh, Sunrise Theater, and there was a protest about it. Um, so a lot of people were speculating that, hey, do you guys play this? All right, never mind. No, no, <laughs> sorry. I'm just I, yeah yeah yeah. I was looking for somebody cool. I was like, who the fuck knows who was Rivers of Nil? <laughs> Apparently, they're not cool. Nah, yeah, shit. Nah, he said he was into it. All right. Um. It, coincidentally, it went down at the same time. The power went down at the same time as the drag show. Right? right, like thirty minutes into it. So people were speculating. Oh yeah, it was fucking. You know, people who are anti LGBTQT F M N L M N O P. Um, which I told Rebecca, I said, you know, that, that that's bullshit. Right. I said, you know, from, cause the initial reports the next day I was watching the interwebs and it showed pictures. There were very, very specific generators for these substations that were, that were hit very yeah. specific, very specific. I mean, these things are custom fucking built. That's why it took them freaking five days to find them. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I'm trying to explain it to her. I said, y y y screw all the speculation for now. Somebody knew what the fuck they were doing yeah. on this shit. Not only that, but there were two that were hit in Moore County, two of them simultaneously. Yeah. And three weeks ago, another one was hit in uh, simultaneously in North Carolina and uh, in Oregon and Washington mm. simultaneously. Okay. Which you're not going to see that shit on the news, but right. I've been talking about the power grid being vulnerable yep. for oh, yeah. years, bro. Oh, yeah. Years and years and years yeah. I've been talking about how freaking vulnerable it is. Um, and I, I don't think people truly understand the the gravity. They don't. They cannot grasp the gravity of how vulnerable it is. You know, people are celebrating, yes, yay, power's back on. 
Um, I was kind of <laughs> bummed out. I was like, you know what? We need we need more of a yeah. freaking slap in the face yeah. Yeah. Uh, for people to fucking wake up. Because today when I went out, because today my main objective was to uh, refit. You know, I did the right. refit today. So our vehicle's already tanked up. I only went through 10 gallons of EF90 uh, on uh, uh, generators. Right. Uh, I had to run, and I ran the generators just periodically. I didn't need it for much. We didn't need it for much of anything. But I powered up the, the freezers and the fridges uh, two hours in the morning, two hours, or two or three hours in the morning, two or three hours in the afternoon. Um, and I still had one, two, three, four, five, five-gallon jugs of EF90 left. Okay. So the only thing I had to refit was uh, two five-gallon cans of uh, of gas right. and uh, one uh, propane tank and then three of the small propane tanks because I used I, I kept hot water on in the kitchen, you know, on a small propane uh, yes. flame heater. Right. Just a big, gigantic pot. So we always had hot water available because hot water is a fucking hot commodity. People don't realize the value of sure. hot water. You know, you get cut, you get, you get an inf- not an infection, but, you know, dirt in a cut or something. You need to clean that shit. Plus uh, anything that we dirtied, like dishes-wise, we washed immediately. And I was like, hey, let's just keep everything freaking in order, man. You know, just because we're out of power doesn't mean we, we have to be slobs. Right. So... To me, that was a priority, you know. Let's keep everything friggin' orderly. Now, hold on. I got to hit this beer. <laughs> um, you know, for for Rebecca and uh, and for uh, me both, it was it was kind of like a vacation. Yeah. You know, no contact. You know, no uh, interweb, no TV. Apocalypse uh, vacation. No, yeah, it was really good. Uh, the only, you know, um, the only thing we had a need for, I had to go to Harris Teeter uh, a couple times to get wine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so your next thing after the outhouse will be a wine cellar. <laughs> yes. No. 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 That's absolutely one hundred percent necessito. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be a thing. I mean, I had, uh, we got a lot of brown. I got so much freaking bourbon. Yeah. It's ridiculous. But, but we all drink wine. I'm the only one who drinks bourbon. Right. So, right. you know, to be fair, I'm thinking, yeah, a little wine cellar. Yeah. I got, I got plenty of room under the house, man. Yeah. That stays cool, bro. Yeah. I mean, in the summertime, it's in the heat of the summer, it's still just 60 degrees. I mean, a hundred degrees outside. It's sixty degrees under the freaking house. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, I, 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 as a note, I was, I was wish. I said, you know what? It was so tempting for me to say, but I couldn't pull it off because my own schedule. I need to be camped out somewhere close to him and yeah, vlog yeah. vlog <laughs> this whole thing because right. it would be so instructional. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it was instructional for, for us because I had to, um, you know, I had to be the uh, the shepherd of the flock and, and make a, um, like a daily scheme of maneuver. Right. So for me, it was, I'm the first one up and I start brewing coffee, you know, just get the, right. just get the big pot of water cooking, uh, turn on the, uh, the gas fireplace, uh, get the dogs walking, uh, open the garage pull out the generator, fuel it up, crank it, get the fridge and freezer frozen. And then I would use the camper to cook breakfast for everybody. Okay. So my mornings were the same Sunday morning, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday morning. Those are all the same, you know, just getting to work every morning. Uh, so, and then I had several tasks during the day just to keep me busy. Uh, and then at night it was the same thing for shutdown. Uh, because, you know, people are vulnerable when there's no freaking electricity, there's no right. certain security cameras or anything. So at night, it was reverse process. Turn off the generator, bring it inside, bring the gas inside to lock up my prep shed, right. lock up the garage. Because it was all, man, you know, you pulling down the, the powered sure. door, the garage door, uh, locking that up. And then I had a layout. I laid out my sheet. 
I got to take a picture. I got to redo it and take a picture of it. Because I was telling Rebecca one night before bed, I said, all men do this, right? During a power outage? And she no. goes, what? I said this. And I showed her my layout of my jacket, <laughs> my, <laughs> my AK vest, my helmet with nods, <laughs> my uh, my pants. They were on the floor. Oh, like a fireman, you know, yeah. all laid out. So I get it on just real quick in the dark. Uh, my AR was there. <laughs> Pistol. <laughs> Everything seemed just laid out. <laughs> you, you found out yeah, accidentally you brought the airsoft instead of the real one. Ah, shit. <laughs> but uh, she was cracking up. I said, oh, men do this, right? No. She goes, ah, I don't no, know. I don't no, think so. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so so that was uh, laid out in, for in case you needed to get up at night? Well, I mean, you know, uh, when there's no electricity, people go fucking crazy and they feel that others are vulnerable and want to take advantage of that vulnerability right? and go out looting. Okay. Uh, okay. And, so, so if you need to get up and get to work yeah, on, quickly. On, on, on the chaos, okay, that's, yep. your, that's your- I was ready. Yeah. Yep. yep. Ready to go. Ready to go. Because we didn't know how long, you know, this could have been, it could have been easy another week. Yeah. Uh, now it was funny because when I went to the teat for wine, uh, there's a gas station. It was the only gas station in like the one of the only ones in the county really that had gas. The line was about mm, half mile long. No kidding. And this this is a gas station that has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve pumps. It's got twelve pumps. And my the the line was like a half mile long. I just drove by that line at like five miles an hour with the window down, just smiled at everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Twi- but then I go twisting I go the inside. knife. Yes, I go inside, and the line to Starbucks to get a cup of coffee was up through the bakery aisle. No kidding. I'm talking like I'm talking like seventy five yards. Okay, so how did Harry, this Harris Teeter was just completely running on generators? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah, they got generators about, I think like a year and a half ago or something, they figured it out because, uh, you know, hurricane seasons and stuff, when mm-hmm. um, the power shuts down for a couple of days, they were, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of dollars they were losing in perishables. But I guess they finally figured out that, you know, it's probably cheaper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> To spend a million dollars on a big ass semi truck of uh, generators, than to lose a half a million dollars every freaking mm-hmm. year. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, but um, and I smile at those cucks, you know those <laughs> those freaking those panty waist shit birds standing in line to get right. coffee because I already had three cups in me because I yeah. was French pressing every day. Yeah. You're like, uh, I'm just here everybody. for wine. Yeah, yeah, I just, that's it. Well, and Rebecca said, oh, the, she goes, the teeter's going to be swamped. I said, Rebecca, it's not. Because nobody's buying real food. Because right. they have new means of cooking it. I'm buying real food right. and wine. That's all I'm buying. And sure as shit, nobody was buying produce. Nobody was buying meat. So what, what, what do you think they were doing for food? You know, buying... Um, uh, uh, stuff that you could just like uh, maybe warm up uh, uh, or maybe, I don't know. I, I have no idea. Packaged food, canned stuff. You know, okay. I have no idea. Okay. I mean, we were cooking, bro. Mm. I mean, we were making like, like gourmet meals, dude. But That's I, I, so um, one of the things that was bad ass to have was that freaking overlander camper. Yeah. I mean, just bad freaking ass because number one we got the you know the, the stainless steel pull out kitchen right and uh the propane tanks hooked up to that we barely used any propane so we were cooking our asses off out there okay so uh, so so why don't you use that much propane just because it doesn't take much it's, just, it's efficient it's very okay. efficient okay. yeah yep it's very efficient now it, it, thankfully it didn't get like too cold right it was cold. It was chilly the first couple of nights, but yeah. it really didn't get down to freezing. Yeah, it warmed up. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so thankfully, we lucked out there. A uh, couple uh, lessons. One of the things I told because um, the kids don't understand, you yeah. know. Sure. They didn't understand. I said, "Hey, we're very fortunate that we still have running water. 
you know, extended period of time uh, when uh, water pumping stations are shut down too. If there's no fucking water, people are going to be in a real world of hurt. Hence all the douchebag comments on the uh, outhouse, outhouse. that you posted. <laughs> you know, because all of you are saying, well, well you could still, dude, we just have five-gallon buckets of water yeah. next to our toilet. If you've got a like, week, like, if you've got a week knowing that yeah, a storm yeah. is coming. Right. Great, great, great. And then what happens when the water stops flowing? <laughs> right. Yeah. Where's the five gallon where, where are you gonna go poop, bro? <laughs> yeah. Where are you gonna Um But um uh so on um, uh Monday night I told the kids, I said, Hey, so we haven't used hot water. Uh the hot water here is still full. Uh, I guarantee that that water is still hot in there. Everybody takes showers. All right. Uh, three to four minute shower. I let the kids go first. Rebecca went next. I went last. And even mine was still good. It wasn't yeah. hot, but it was lukewarm. Yeah. Uh, but and then I realized, well, screw that, man. We got the camper. I just turned that sucker around and let solar and the propane uh, heat the water. And we all took showers in there the next couple of nights. No kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I mean, they're quick because the hot water tank sure. is small. Sure. Um, so, you know, I, I had long talks with Rebecca because what I did every every night, we'd sit by the fire. Yeah. And we'd uh, recharge the speaker and we'd hook it up and uh, just uh, uh, have uh, – we just chit-chat by the fire, man, yeah. and drink wine. <laughs> sure. And we said, all right, so people aren't going to learn from this. What did we learn? You know, what do we need? And there was very few things, very right. few. We were so, so comfortable, like, you know, because we had the Lucy lights, all that shit. So at night we had enough light in the house to yeah. walk around. The one thing, so there was one thing. Um, we have a, uh, you know, gas fireplace. Right. Right. Gas fireplace. But uh, what's above the gas fireplace is that big ass vaulted ceiling. Right. Now, the big ass vaulted ceiling has a ceiling fan. But ceiling fan, no worky when no electricity. Sure. Which means all that hot air is getting trapped up there. Mm-hmm. So I ordered a couple of rechargeable uh, fans, two rechargeable fans that are multi-purpose, multi, multifunction, multifunctional, you know. Um, and they're going to be good. Let's say we lose power in the summer and it gets hot as freaking balls inside mm-hmm. the house. Turn those fans on, get some shit circulating, push the, all the hot trapped air outside. Okay, so these, uh, are, these would be like uh, something you could put on the floor? Yep, or, floor. Okay. I could put one on the mantle, you know, above the fireplace, and just point it straight up into that vaulted ceiling and get uh, air circulating, you know, push all that hot air down. I didn't know there was rechargeable uh, fans, but that makes sense. Yeah, well, I, I, that's what I, I didn't know either. That, but I said to Rebecca, I said, you know what? I want to get, I know they have them. Yeah. Rechargeable battery operated fans and i pulled it up on amazon and boom they're beautiful man big ass freaking industrial orange fuckers you know cool. i could put them in the camper if we if we want whatever um because fan man circulating air you know comfort comfort yeah. uh i mean that would have been huge on this thing uh because the gas fireplace is is efficient but without a fan pushing that air down, it's very inefficient, right. extremely right. inefficient. Okay, so um, now, so there's there's, there's not much, I, I know some people will still light a, a natural fire in their gas fireplace. Right. Yep. Are you yep. able to do that? Is there a place for the smoke to go? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could open the flue. Okay. I could take out the uh, the gas inserts. Right. And, uh, and light a fire. Okay. Uh, easy, 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 okay. easy. Yep. Thankfully, uh, thankfully, it wasn't that cold. Nah, 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 yeah, yeah. But, you know, one morning it was cold, but I have the big jet, the jet heater. And uh, you can you can hang out up here, Andres. I'm doing a Skype right now, but yeah. No, 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 it's fine. Come on up. Yep, no. Um, I'm doing a Skype with my squad right now, but I'm just talking about the blackout and lessons learned, you know, shit like that. The other thing I have is a, a propane-powered uh, jet heater. So on the cold mornings, I put that in, you know, in my hallway right there mm-hmm. next to the living room or next to the laundry room. I slipped it into the hallway uh, with the propane outside of the laundry room door and the sense. generator outside the garage. Yeah, that makes sense. And that and that jet heater heated up that house quick, bro. <laughs> 
So how many? Yeah, how, hey, how, how you doing? Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. <laughs> right on. Appreciate it. Mac, how much? Um, how much propane did you have? I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those big ass uh, blue Rhiners. Okay. I used a full one and two halves of another. And one of the halves was just for fun. It was just for that gas fireplace. It was sure. just to have an extra fireplace by the campers when we were right. cooking breakfast and stuff like that. We had just warmth. Um, so I only used a full one. So I, I, I was pretty freaking efficient during the whole thing. Um, and then the camper, we used a little bit of each one uh, for uh, the hot water heater. Okay. And what else did, did we use? Uh but everything we had was was on on point, you know, all this stuff. I mean, we were very comfortable. Like my own like like I said, my only need was wine. That was it. That was the only freaking <laughs> that's the only thing I had to go to. Right. Plus we were like, fuck it, nobody else is buying real food. Let's just keep buying real food. Right. <laughs> Let's right. buy some steaks and some veg and some fresh green beans and and, you know, cook our asses off. Now, here's another thing that was cool shit. This town, the Southern Pines area, Pinehurst area, uh, Whispering Pines area, the community outpouring was freaking unbelievable. It was so good. You know, uh, I don't know if you saw Andres, like the Growler Shop announced uh, two mornings in a row that they were making pancakes and giving out free coffee to everybody. Wow. <laughs> and uh, so many restaurants that had, like, a gas setup were doing that. Yeah. They were just brewing coffee, <laughs> making waffles, stuff like that. Uh, there's um, a place you got. I got to take you to uh, bring uh, when next time or sometime when you're here called Red's Corner. So it's a new thing. Red's Corner is a cool little area with all these picnic tables and the big propane heating uh, lanterns. And uh, how many food trucks did you say are there? Nine food trucks. Wow. Yeah, and they're all on uh, propane. So they were making announcements. Hey, we're open. And they were jammed. Mm. What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sent my kids there because I told them, you need to get the fuck out of the house. I said, here's $50. Go mm. to Red's Corner. <laughs> so they just drove get down. Get out. Right? And they had, what's that? They drove down. There, yeah, yeah, right? they yeah. drove down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the gas thing was cracking me up. Every, uh, so much shit was cracking me up, man. You know, reading like the, uh, now my neighbor, none of them were hurting. Okay, so so so, so your street was good and oh yeah 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 they were party we were partying just like me yeah yeah we were partying we were yeah we were nobody was nobody's hurting on my street <laughs> yeah 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 we were freaking partying asses but you know a couple things came to mind I was uh, talking to Rebecca I said what about all these battery operated parents mm. you know who have to uh, are relying on devices to um, occupy and entertain their yeah. small children. Oh, man. What about these fucking lazy bastards? They must be going batshit freaking crazy right now. Mm -hmm. And what about all these freaking Tesla dudes? <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> mm -mm. What about that? No. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, yeah, I didn't see many Teslas on the road when I was uh, no. driving to get wine. <laughs> So, so Mac, when, when this went down, it was so funny because we literally had this discussion as yeah, yeah. we posted video proof of that, despite the fact that 80% of the people, according to Pareto's rule, right? 80, 20 split, 80% yep, yep. of the people missed the point. Yeah. Completely. Um, they wanted to argue about different ways that you could flush a toilet instead of yeah, recognizing right. once again, yeah. What the person you thought was paranoid. Yeah, right. Was right again. The last time we right. went through this, it was because he was talking about <laughs> something happening to the fuel, something happening to the right. pipeline. To the fuel line. <laughs> right. And you guys and that thought happened. that'll never happen. Never. Never happen. Yep. And it happened yep. then. Um yep. so, yep. you know, I thought it was important for I want people to understand that that and right. here's the other thing is that if if and these are i mean historically speaking in the modern age in america they are very rare occurrences there's no doubt about that that does not mean they will not happen and it does not mean they will not happen or something even worse happen again yep right so this yep. is a mm -hmm. a this is a foreshadowing 
yeah, yeah. P- potential challenges that lie ahead for all of us. Yep. And thankfully, yeah, Mac, yeah. this was this was your this has been your bully pulpit, so to speak, for some time now. You're not talking about um, you know having sufficient firearms, although that's important. You're talking yeah. about things that are really truly affecting everybody potentially. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 It, it, you know, it, it just it, the simple shit like food, water, hygiene. <laughs> yeah. Food, water, yeah. hygiene, you know, and, and having that gas. Right. And we had so much gas left because I had, uh, let me see, one, two. We used two five gallon jugs and then I counted out one. I still had five five gallon jugs left. Mm. Yeah. I still had that. Uh, but, but, but that was a big thing. I told Rebecca, I said, Hey, we can't like high five each other. We need to say, where did we fuck up? Yeah. What do we need to do next? You know, and she's down with it, man. Rebecca was so thankful because, you know, all these people were like, Oh, I need, Oh shit. We had, and uh, Rebecca, I don't, I don't know if you saw, but Rebecca put out a PSA on her. I said, should I put one out of mine? She goes, no, I, I have a bigger reach in more County. More people follow me here locally. Right. So she put one out on a story. Hey, uh, T Max and I live for this shit. We have stuff. If you need something, DM me. And I had uh, two people come by uh, for different stuff. One, the the day before it happened, they got a big meat delivery. The oh, day they before, no, they had nowhere to store it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They had a they had a a, a, a freezer. But, but I'm right. But, but it was one wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, I said, come on by. I'll give you two five gal or two gallon jugs of frozen water and two bags of ice. And she was like, really? I said, yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. She goes, don't you need it? I said, I'll just make some more. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, because everybody was out of ice. Yeah. Because that's that's a thing, that's a thing people went for, man. You know, ice, ice, ice. Um, um, and I don't know how long I've been saying, you know, telling people, hey, at least freeze a couple gallons of water. Just a couple yeah. gallons. Right. Now, we have the big, we have um, three fridges, right? So we have the fridge in the house, we have garage fridge, and then we have the big meat freezer. Right. Uh, I checked the meat three days with no, we never ran power to the freezer. Uh, it was good all the way through. The meat really? was still frozen. I only opened it twice just to check on it. That's it pretty good, man. Cause, uh, yeah, because I've got one of those, like and that's what I'm curious, cause, you know, to keep my refrigerator and that meat freezer going. Yep. Dude, I, I think the meat freezer, I bet that'll stay for a couple weeks. Well, it's when you think about it, it's it's frozen meat stacked upon frozen meat, so it's kind of right, like right, reinforcing yeah, itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'll stay for a couple weeks. I would, I, so I didn't waste my time uh, powering that up. Good. I was good, like, good. you know, in a if it if this goes on for another week, I'll run that and freeze everything. I'll run it for a couple yeah. hours and freeze it up again. Yeah. But didn't need a freaking thing in that. Nothing at all. Um, let me. No, there was a couple other things that were fun. You know, um, I can't remember off the top, but 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 we did help people out. We weren't too overly, you know, ambitious to help people because. Sure. Didn't know how long it's going to yeah. last, and yeah. I got to take care of my family. That comes right. first. And I'm not telling people I got shit. You know, I'm not telling them what I have. I'm just saying, if you need help, I got your back. Right. Uh, uh, I mean, there were a lot of people messaging me, oh, do you need anything? I'm like, bro, do you know who I am? <laughs> Dude, totally. Yeah. I had a couple people say, hey, I, I, one, one guy wrote in and said, I know this is a stupid question, but does Mac need anything? <laughs> yeah. no, it's nice. It's nice. You know, yeah. there were there were people – who are like even in South Carolina? Hey, we're down Highway One, just 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 south of North Carolina. If you need something, we got everything. And I'm like, no. thanks, bro. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I but it was nice. It was nice. I didn't I didn't I didn't snub them, you know, no. or or heckle them. I just said, nope, good to go. Yeah. Yep. Leave me alone. I got, dude. I I could do this shit for, wow, man, long time. Long time. Right. I mean, that was only five days, you know. The, the one thing, too, is um, like occupying time. And I right. told them, like, told the kids, I said, look, at, I got a mini bike. We got scooters. We got the golf cart. Because I was charging up the golf cart every day, too. Uh, we got, I got BB guns. I got pellet rifles. I got airsoft. I got bow and air. I got shit. You could freaking, you could keep yourselves entertained forever, man. You could just, you could play your asses off. I did take them down and show them the beaver dam. Oh, cool. 
Yeah, and they were like, what in the actual? So they haven't <laughs> seen it? Nah, they, just oh, okay. from uh, uh, our side. Okay, gotcha. They didn't go across the other side where yeah. all those big trees are taken down. Yeah. Dude, it's so and, cool. Uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. So they were pretty blown away with that one. Um, now, how did you charge uh, the? Um, how did you charge the golf cart? I just used the generator. Okay. You know, so if it, if if the uh, it, whenever I was charging, like in the, I turned it on in the morning and then the night. Like Tom had his going the whole time, which was a pain in the ass because I wanted silence. Mm-hmm. You know, there's, you know, because it was silent. The times he turned it off, it was beautiful to have that absolute freaking silence. Mm-hmm. I mean, like no noise because right. nobody's on the road. Right. You know, so uh, so it was very very serene, and there was no. It was a bummer that there was a lot of cloud. Now the cloud coverage is good because it kept the heat in, sure. you know, so it didn't get super cold. Right. But uh, stargazing would have been so nice, man, you know? Yeah. No light pollution. Uh, we had the one night um, I posted on my story, no need for entertainment. We got this, right. where there were breaks in the, in the clouds and the moon was up. Yeah. And uh, Rebecca and I were just staring up at that. I mean, I just kept stacking up wood. and it, it, I, 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 it, You know, snarky comments on the interweb. One guy said, splitting wood in December? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm like... Uh, yeah, bro. Uh, there happens to be a uh, you know massive power outage here. I don't know if you noticed, but yeah, I'm, I'm freaking splitting more wood because I want the outdoor fire too. Yeah, I split a lot of wood. I mean, I had stacks and stacks of split wood, but I didn't want to use it all, so I was just splitting more. Um, so we could burn it at night, but you know, because yeah. they were beautiful fire nights, you know, and we would sit out. I, I think I would start them at like six at night and we would go in at like midnight. <laughs> mm. So that's a lot of wood burning, you know? Um, um, but that was one of the ways I entertained myself. I still did yard work. Um, and I uh, had little, just little tinkering projects and then just trying to figure shit out, yeah. but staying clean, you know, was a big one. Like just keeping shit orderly. All right. Cousin Nick, yeah. keeping shit orderly. Yeah. Have a good one, brother. Yeah. Uh, was, it was, you know, if you're by yourself, it's one thing, but when you got kids too, you know, sure. uh, you, you want to set, set a good example and, and say, Hey, if you dirty something, clean it. Here's a process, how to clean it. Use this much hot water and then use the cold water. Rinse. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, but telling them like to keep the shit clean. Here comes Tom, Tom and Jen are coming down the sidewalk right now. We got to have Tom on the live stream for just a minute. All right. Yeah. Just for a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm doing uh, my uh, my live right now. Squad, grab a grab a grab something so you can be a guest on here just for like five minutes if you would, and then we'll freaking uh, we'll we'll stop it. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So uh, yeah. so so tell me then because I yeah. mean we talked about the outhouse, but we haven't you haven't mentioned yet. How did the bathroom thing go? The toilet, the outhouse, or regular toilet, or just all of it. Well, regular toilet water was still running, so right. no, n- you know, no big deal. Right. Um, but, dude, I used my house. I broke that sucker in <laughs> just for well, the hell of I it. See it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I got because I want to see if there's like stink. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, it's beautiful. It's because it's they advertise no stink. Yeah. Now I've got a lot of coconut husk in there, and um, you know, and. And so you do your deed and you just turn the handle and mix everything up. Um, and pee goes in one hole and doo-doo goes in another hole. Okay. So you did, uh, so you did use it for number two. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I used it. Yep. I used it in its entire, James used it. Uh, Cyan used it, and Rebecca. We all, we all, we, we broke it in. Yep. <laughs> we broke that sucker in. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's wonderful. It's freaking absolutely wonderful. Oh well, well, like, well let's like, let, let's talk about what what actually happened. So, what time did the power go? Because it was a, within twenty four hours of when we talked about the possibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of this yeah. All right. So here's a, here's a weird story. So I'm in the pub, <laughs> and I got this uh, one dude. He's a military guy. He's a fan, and uh, he's chatting with me. Uh, about ranges and stuff and you know can he shoot with me and i gave him my number and i said sure man yeah we could freaking hang out uh and i'll take your number and i'll tell you next time come on up folks come on up 
uh, and um, he, he showed me his cell phone, and he goes, oh, shit, I just got an alert. There was a terror warning at Fort Bragg. I said, really? Huh. And just then, uh, the power shut down. It was like 8.15 or so. Hold on. Let, let me say hi to Tom. Okay. My man. Oh, man. Good to see you, brother. <laughs> Grab a seat over here so I could so you could get on this. Just for We're on this for a minute. With, uh, I don't know how long. I've been on for like a half an hour talking about this like Armageddon shit. So um, the, the, the power went out here at the pub. And because pub peeps and heavy military uh, influence here and you know, a lot of patrons are either uh, retired military or current military. Uh, they went into action. They freaking said, all right, everybody out. And they locked it down, man. Mm. A lot of the uh, – um, and it, there was immediately looting in town. Like the Walmart got looted no and a gun shop got looted. Yeah, my my dude, Ed's, you know, you've yeah, been yeah. in there. Yeah. Uh, they, they, they spent every night inside of the gun shop because a bunch of gun shops were getting looted. All right. So as soon as it went out, Rebecca and I went into action. We didn't fuck around. We went right home. Right. Went right home because the kids were freaking the fuck out. Sure. <laughs> but they already had – it was cool because they already had the Lucy lights fired up and had everything locked down. Good. I was like, oh, right. good, 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 good for you. And I think, I think that night there was news on interwebs that it was uh, deliberate – sabotage on a substation right uh i was like oh shit all right and then you know power should be back up tomorrow afternoon next day of course it's a t- <laughs> power would be on on thursday <laughs> oh, wow. so that's when i started telling rebecca I said, in, in, when it showed pictures of those uh the coolant or the uh, uh the transformer generators right. i was telling her because she was saying oh there's scuttlebutt that it's like fucking proud boys or it's because of the trans show or whatever the hell drag queen show and i said no bro this is this is somebody knew what the hell they were doing right. this is a very specific freaking thing and in order to take down to hit these three things that are custom freaking made i mean that requires some know-how sure. in order to take that shit down with small arms fire right and then knowing that two of them were hit simultaneously and just three weeks prior several others were hit in oregon south carolina washington uh, now unsuccessfully, but dude, I've been saying it for how long? When did I write the Sentinel book? 2012, yeah, 2013. Yeah. I was saying it then. <laughs> how vulnerable our freaking grid is. Not just the freaking uh, terrorist attack or domestic terrorist sabotage, but freaking um, the sun, bro. You know, mass yeah. coronal ejections. I've been saying that shit. Right. So yeah, it was it was it was fun for us immediately. And instantly, Rebecca and I said, I hope this thing lasts for a long time. <laughs> but it wasn't, and not to gloat, you no, know, sure. I don't want, and I did not want anybody else hurting. Sure. Uh, because businesses are hurting because it's Christmas shopping season. Sure. So they're hurting, you know, everybody's freaking hurting when shit like that happens. Yeah. So we just wanted it to, we wanted to test our metal, you know, yeah. we wanted to test how freaking good we got shit set up. Jen, hold on, CJ, I'll be right back. Go ahead, man. How you doing? Yeah. Good, good, good. Awesome good to see you. you. Yep. I'm on with my uh, with my squad. Hey, squad, for those of you who are on here, uh, I got uh, Tom and Jen Satterley here with us, and uh, we're at the pub having a, having a paint. Okay. They just showed up. Uh, so <laughs> they're out of staters. So they're here doing some business, and uh, I am honored to be in their presence. There you go. <laughs> <It's a mess. laughs> Uh, we're doing the recap of the uh, big freaking um, power outage thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, it was great. It was great. I just gave. I, I've been talking for oh forty minutes about it. Yeah, okay. yeah. We started. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. But uh, but yeah, man. That's about that's about all of it. I mean, we uh, like I said, we Rebecca and I did an AAR, not like all these other freaking douchebags, because the same douchebags are going to be on empty the next time the freaking power goes out. Yeah. The same douchebags are going to have no toilet paper. The same douchebags are going to have no freaking food. Yep. They're going to have no freaking stored gas. All of them, all the sheeple are going to do the same fucking thing they did before. Every single one of them. And they're going to go, oh, my God, I got covered my pants down. <laughs> yeah, that's because you're freaking sheeple. Oh my God! But uh, yeah, my plan's gonna get stronger and stronger. <laughs> yeah. 
So, and, and that's and, living in, you know, and that's not living out in the sticks. People in the sticks, they're ready for the shit like that. You oh, know? yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They ain't and, worrying about nothing. And and you've already started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. I already started improving. Yep. And uh, it was very few things. I mean, very few. Yeah. Like uh, wine cellar. That's a thing on the listing. That was sure. the only thing I had to go get. Tell you, <laughs> man. Plenty of fuel, man. Plenty, plenty. We we did it. Like I said, this morning, that was my mission. Refit. Quickly, refit, refit. Get ready for in case it happens right now again. <laughs> okay, so, so now you, now you had we, now street lights were out. How was that going down? Yeah, every, yeah. Well, there's no street lights on our street anyway. Right. So it didn't affect us any. I'm sorry, traffic uh, lights. My nods traffic work, my lights. work better when there's no freaking yeah. light. Like <laughs> but 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 traffic lights just getting around town. I got dually two fifteen thirty ones. You know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Traffic. Oh, what they did. Uh, so the town's cool, man. Uh, all the uh, the traffic light stops. Um, the town went out and put uh, four way stop signs up. Oh wow. Yep. 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 Uh, we went around. To, like people we knew that um, were out of town and uh, made sure their doors were locked and like covered shit up with tarps that was exposed. Ugh, some people are just so freaking <laughs> complacent, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Complacent, bro. Damn. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Look, we, we don't learn. Like, like I've said before, you know, that's us as human beings. We are devolving. We're devolving as a species, bro. Yeah, it seems like that, and doesn't that, it? This is true. Yeah, when, when you have to wait in line, and, and, and you're 75 yards in a line to wait at fucking Starbucks to get a cup of coffee, Yeah, you need to check your priorities, man. What yeah. kind of a freaking man has to go to Starbucks to get his wife a cup of coffee? Dude, that, that shit. Those guys. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> the guys who are <laughs> arguing with you on Instagram. Those are the guys right. that yep. have to do this. Uh, let me talk to Tom here for a second, and then right I'll, I'll let you get to visit with, with them. Yep. He's right here, bro. Okay. What's going on, man? Hey, buddy. How you doing, man? Pretty good. You're late. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, all the fuss about the electricity. Early. I don't see anything going on here, man. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, welcome back to North Carolina again, man. You guys come in and out of town, don't you? Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like I need it. Yeah. yeah, I need to refuel and go back to the Midwest. I don't yeah, know. yeah. <laughs> it's just well, all great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, listen, dude. I, I mean, um, um, I'd rather meet you in person, obviously. Um, but this is a start. Yeah, I'm gonna ease into it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. we can... Oh yeah, you got to take CJ small doses. Bro. Yeah, small doses, <laughs> man. Just to tell me. <laughs> um. All right, all right, Tom. Um. I know you got a lot going on for just briefly for our squad members that may not know. I'm going to drop some photos they know. <laughs> just, they know. J- just for them re- real quick. But uh, most of them should know who you are. Tom, you are also a um, right uh, unit guy with Matt going way back. Um, you were in Mogadishu on the ground. You um, Since then, you've had a tremendous story of recovery and all of these things, which is in the book. What is it? It's All Secure, right, is the name of the book? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. All Secure. And you work now with Jen, your lovely wife, with and the All Secure Foundation. Am I correct in saying that? I, I work for her, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Um, so that's what the kids are calling it these days. Um <laughs> Uh, but but you guys, I mean, you guys have, from what I've been able to see, very very active. Not you know, you're traveling. You just started a new podcast, which Mac was on, which was one of the better episodes that I've heard him on. Yeah, that one blew it out. Two, yeah, that was uh, fun. It's like over three thousand right now. Oh, good, good. All right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So right. yeah, he's a. It just it. Just, just a great vibe, um, and I, I love Jen. I love her inquisitiveness and and how she puts herself out there. So, I know you guys are hosting events, even for couples and that sort of thing. Why don't you tell a little bit about that? Yeah, we typically we've been doing four a year, and uh, next year we're we're jumping up to six a year uh, for ten couples uh, on a four day extensive kind of 
rebuilding a relationship, you know, retreats on how to kind of just connect and communicate. A lot of people don't really put effort into the relationship. They spend all their lives doing their careers and they get really, you know, those that level of people, they get that high up and they just, you give something up on the other end. Yeah. So that's what everybody kind of needed. At least when Jen got to know everybody on the RMTs, they would, uh, you know, they would come up and start talking to her like the den mother. You know, everybody always goes over to the hot chicks anyway. You know, hey, I got this thing. And then next thing you know, they're talking, which is fine. I, I, I knew what they were doing, but right. I knew what she would do. And they'd turn it around like, so how's your wife? You know, and yeah, and they're like, oh, it sucks because I, I screw it all up. So she started realizing that like 92 percent of everybody that hits us up wants help at home in their relationship. So, mm. you know, and that's just communication. So, yeah, we work with them uh, on that four day retreat. We, we give them tools. Close to yeah, community, so. like, we've been running them at Big Cedar in Missouri. This yeah. year we're going to take it to like tenth group, first group, seventh group, and that it'll be like an hour or two drive for them. A lot cheaper. They can get home quicker if they have to, and we'll we'll run retreats um, locally for them. Yeah. Um, we're doing the first one up in Washington well, with first group in the mountains in like March. Wow! 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 Ooh. Yeah, so we're hitting the road instead of doing the do it in a home gonna, base in Missouri. Right. We're going to do it. Doing some, so it's easier for everyone else. I know people like to get away, but they don't like to get away when they have to pay for it. So yeah. we'll, we'll bring it to them, and they'll still be nice, and they'll still get the, the important stuff. Tom, let me, Tom, let me ask you, um, because I'm somewhat familiar with your story, read your book, um, which is great, by the way. Um, man, you. You, you've had a challenging – I mean, some people can look at you from a you know from a commando standpoint and said he's, he's lived a stellar career – the personal life, the psychology, the pain of the pa- all of these things can make it a very bumpy road. You had this long trajectory, this long road that you've been on, and then all of a sudden, now this shift into genuinely helping people, genuinely transforming lives. What is that like for you? Because I don't know how you saw the future for yourself during some of those days. I, yeah, I didn't have one. Man. It was black and dark, whatever that looked like. Sadly, <laughs> whatever the other side looks like, it wasn't good. I, uh, You know what? When I've got my empathy and compassion back, I, I had lost it. Uh, you know, whether it was a, a trophy to carry or a protection, you know, mask I put on, I just didn't give a shit. And right. If you had an issue, it was because you got yourself into it. Dig yourself out, you know, whatever. Right. And I, and I, I lost it all. So what I what I figured out down the down the road when Jen rubbed my nose in it was that I didn't love myself. Mm. I didn't have empathy and compassion for myself. So how could I like anyone else? And I once I started cracking through that, man, I tell you what, I I, I cry a lot now for four other people uh, right. out of happiness. You know, home improvement shows are like here's the big reveal. I'm like, oh, I, feel, <laughs> I love it. You know, I know I don't even That's know. Fifty shit. Though, yeah, maybe that maybe it's hormones. I don't That's know, right. but I. Uh, I used to make fun of people. I used to use that as a moniker. Like, what do you read the obituaries and cry? You know, who gives right. a shit? You don't know those people. But, right. you know, I, I found it again. And yeah, so I'm that's uh, the best part of it for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you know as, as I'm sure you understand, as I'm sure you know all too well, um, it's it's easy to to steer strong emotion. Well, like, it's, like if you're angry or there's a sense of vengeance, it's easy to steer that. Right. It's oh, yeah. you know what to do with that emotion. So now you've got something equally strong like compassion. Are you enjoying trying to steer that emotion now? Yeah, it was a bumpy road, man. <laughs> I fought that shit all the way in, you know, Arr, pushing away as you're going in for the hug, like on Step Brothers or something. They're trying to hug each other, yeah. smacking each other. And, <laughs> and then they finally end up going in there, you know, and I'm like, that was what it was like. It was yeah. like, yeah, I don't want it. I hate it. Well, you know, I, I literally, she was so kind. My my thought process was, what do you want? Yeah. Like, what do you want? I, nobody's nice like this unless they want something. Right, right. And she was just nice because she's nice. And, it, you know, right. just kind of broke me. Yeah. No, dude, I'm I, I'm so glad that uh, that you guys have connected. And again, man, I you know, I know we 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 kind of connected message uh, sometime back. I'd love to get you out at some point for some sort of squad type event. I just yeah. think the connection would be so, so be solid, bad. man. Um, yeah, I would love to. I was kicking myself in the ass. I kept saying, I want to do this big podcast. How would we do it? And I didn't want to carry all this shit here. I'm lazy. <laughs> and I, I actually thought about you. I thought, I'm going to hit up CJ and yeah. see if he's got equipment. And then the power went out on my, you know, and I'm like, I don't even know if I'm going yeah. until 
yesterday when I heard yeah. the power came back on. I was like, I guess we can go now. So yeah. Well, for for future note, uh, absolutely, I'll come out. I'll bring whatever you need and and record whatever you need to do. But um, that's awesome. That'd be great. It's good to talk to you, man. Yeah, you as well, man. I I'd love to do this sometime. That's uh. Yeah, it's kind of our thing now, man. We, you know. Yeah, you so talk. You, you talk for a living now, bro. Yeah, 